Continuing with options for importing video. For embedded video, import video does the same thing as import to stage. It imports it both to the stage and to the library and puts it on the timeline. So I'm not going to demonstrate that. Instead, I'll move on to external video. And for external video, all three of these, import to stage, import to library, and import video, do the same thing. So let's start with import video. File, import, import video. Browse, winter FLV, open. I'm going to leave that on external this time. Next. I'll just keep that. Next. And finish. Getting metadata. And let me close that library. You can see, by the way, the FLV playback component is in the library. Control minus to make this a little smaller. And there's my video on the stage. So let me just undo that undo the import and just show you go to import let's try import to library that's the one you would think might behave a little differently winter.flv I'm going to keep it external I'll keep that next and finish it imports the metadata and it does put the playback component on the stage and again there's no way that it could reference an external video without having the playback component on the stage. So that's why it does that. I'll just undo that. So there's one other thing I'd like to show you here, which is importing an external video that is streamed. So let's go to File, Import, Import Video. And here they have already deployed to a web server, Flash Video Streaming Service, or Flash Media Server. So I'll click that. So you could have an HTTP address of a video file there. But what I'm going to do is put an RTMP address there. This happens to be an address at influxus.com. And that is a streaming host. They actually have Flash Media Server there. And this particular file is running on the Flash Media Server at influxus.com. Just click Next. I'll keep that. That's fine. Click Next and Finish. Looks very much the same here. Getting the metadata. And let's just test that. And there it is. So it really couldn't be more straightforward. Just file, import, import video, put your address of your streaming server right here, and you have a streaming video. And that concludes this tutorial on options for importing video.